Ursula Farinho teaches pasta making and we're at the Misley Cooking School for lunch. She is showing us how to make a pasta roll filled with spinach and ricotta. I've got two different types of flour here. I've got my doppio zero, my Italian double zero flour. Uh, the two zeros representing the milling, so it's very fine. And I've got the uh, caputo, uh, granodora di semola, which is a semolina flour, which is, um, has a little bit more texture. Ursula uses equal quantities of semola and double zero flour. A tablespoon of olive oil and one egg for every 100 grams of flour. Break up those eggs as if you're making um, scrambled eggs. The flour um, will be introduced when the eggs are so, so well combined that you can lift them up on the fork and it's like a fine string. And you'd start flicking in and if you can create a little bit of height when you're doing this, the egg won't fall quite so much. The next stage is a massage, so really using all your heart and soul to bring this paste together. And within seconds, you have pasta. She leaves the pasta dough to relax for at least 10 minutes in the fridge. And um, squeeze the spinach, so it's, for this is part of the forchita for the rotolo or piano. So you make sure what it's washed, um, it's cooked, and it's in a ball, as you can see. Ursula squeezes the spinach dry before chopping it. She adds cow's milk ricotta, parmigiano reggiano, never too much, diced tomatoes without their seeds, chopped garlic, and some peppery olive oil. Yes, back to the pasta. My nonna used to hang it, and as she hung it, it would stretch. It makes me enormously happy to be making something that um, my grandmother made and showed me. Ursula rolls out the pasta so thin you can see her hand through it. She places it on a large piece of muslin and spreads the mixture nearly to the edges. And the next part I think is quite fun. Keep it as flat as you can. Then she rolls up the pasta with the muslin and ties the end with cling film which is easier to cut after cooking. She poaches the roll for 20 minutes in salted water. You can use a fish kettle or a deep-sided roasting pan. So this is coming out. She lets the pasta roll cool before cutting it and grills the slices for around five minutes. Ursula makes a sage and butter dressing and pours it over the slices for serving. Rotolo Rapieno, pasta roll with spinach and ricotta and sage butter. Buon appetito. Wow, that looks really good. <laughs> Buon appetito. Buon appetito. <laughs> Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.